we see some people sometimes are focusing too much on refuting others. Yeah? And they claim that this is manhaj of salaf See, I remember uh, that I read a similar question to our Sheikh Ibn Jibreel, rahimahullah ta'ala. Yeah? And Sheikh Ibn Jibreel, at that time, this issue of this is Salafi, this is not Salafi, this is yani, Manhaj al-Salaf, etc. So the Sheikh became a bit uh, agitated. And he said, we all wish to be from a Salaf al-Salih. He said, to be from a Salaf al-Salih is not by refuting this and that. It's by your akhlaq. It's by your ibadah. Yes? By the way how to deal with others. Etc, etc, etc. We have limited the understanding of a self, my dear brothers and sisters, to a very, very narrow perspective. And then we said that this is a self. Okay, if I say to you, if I say to you, most of a self were politicians. Will you agree on this or not? Yeah, or if I say to you, the best of us salaf, they were politicians. Abu Bakr was the best of them, so? yeah. Was he a politician or not? Yes. Was he a politician or not? Yes, of course. yes or no? Of course, yes. yes. Umar ibn al-Khattab, yes or no? Yes. Uthman, no. radiyallahu anhu. No. Ali bin Abi Talib, radiyallahu anhu. They were the best of us salaf. Agree or not? Agree. They were politicians. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, so if you just want to take one side and you claim that this is the manhaj of a salaf, okay, this is completely wrong, my dear brothers and sisters. Right? And as I told you, please, you are young. Yeah? Be careful of this micro thinking or micro understanding of Islam. What is the micro understanding of Islam? طيب. You just take single isolated a hadith from here and there. Yeah? And you just understand them in isolation of the rest of the hadith and the ayat that talk about Islam. Yeah? For example, for example, if someone, and this is, by the way, this is the mubtadi'a way. This is the bid'a way. For example, the irja' people, you know the irja', the bid'a of irja', that considers what? Actions are not part of iman. They focused on what? The ahadith that talk about what? The mercy of Allah. Yeah? The Prophet ﷺ in Sahih Muslim said, whoever says, La ilaha illallah, Allah will protect him from fire of hell. Khalas. This is the only hadith that they remember. <laughs> is that correct? The hadith is correct. No one can say the hadith is not wrong. Then one of those brothers, okay, or the murja will challenge you. What do you say about the hadith? Is it wrong? This blackmailing. No, no, the hadith is correct. <laughs> Khalas, if the hadith is authentic, you should do what? Endorse it as your madhab. Agree? No. Full stop. The Prophet وسلم, said, if you say la ilaha illallah, you will be protected from the fire of hell. Full stop. Khalas. Come on, akhi. But there are many other hadith. I don't care. Subhanallah. <laughs> do you believe in part of the book and you leave the others? No. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu dhukhulu fi silmi kafa. Enter in Islam in its totality. Yes? So this manhaj is the manhaj of the mubtadi'ah. The khawarij during the time of Ibn Abbas, when Ibn Abbas went to have a dialogue with them, he said, what's wrong with you? They said, Muawiyah, Ali bin Abi Talib left al-Islam. Why? He said, حَكَّمَ الرِّجَالَ فِي دِينِ اللَّهِ How come حَكَّمَ الرِّجَالَ فِي دِينِ اللَّهِ يعني He made the men طيب, judges on the deen of Allah. Subhanallah. How come? 
So they brought a dalil that look, he accepted the tahkim. He said, come on guys, come on, just wake up. طيب. Allah Jalla wa Ala, Allah Jalla wa Ala said in the Quran, يَحْكُمُ بِهِ دَوَا عَدْلٍ مِّنْكُمْ So he allowed men to judge. You cannot say that Ali bin Abi Talib did this. Clear? But when they focus on one thing and leave the rest, طيب, then it is becoming a big problem. For example, now many brothers are focusing on some people who made mistakes or who fell in bid'as. Yeah? We need to boycott them. We, need, we don't need even to give them salah. Yes? Okay. But they forgot that these people are still what? Are still Muslims. Agree or not? Yeah? Which is more stronger يعني, uh, side? That they are Muslims or they are Mubtadi'? Muslims, because it is confirmed. Mubtadi', this is according to your viewpoint. Maybe according to others, they are not Mubtadi'. Agree or not? Yeah? But it is confirmed that they are Muslims. The Prophet وسلم, said, by Allah, you will not get into Jannah until what you believe. And you will not believe until you what? Love each other. And you will not love each other until you what? Until you what? Give salam to each other. Sah? He is mubtadi', he is misguided, guided, righteous, not righteous, yes, with beard, with no beard, okay. Praise like this, praise like this, whatever. He is what? He is Muslim, testifies there is no God but Allah. Yes, and Muhammad is his final messenger. Give him salam. Give him what? Salam. المسلم أخ المسلم did the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم and Allah جل وعلا says هو سماكم المسلمين من قبل وفي هذا he called you Muslims yes سلفي خلفي حنفي تلفي ملفي كل Muslims كل Muslims agree or not no I'm talking seriously yeah they are Muslims المسلم is the brother of Muslim. This is what the Prophet ﷺ said. If he said, ah, you have just taken one hadith. I say, yes, all of the hadith are talking about this. مثل المؤمنين في توادهم وتراحمهم وتعاطفهم كمثل الجسد الواحد. Yeah. إنما المؤمنون إخوة. All the ayat and the hadith confirm this conclusion. Yes? طيب. And moreover, طيب, we forgot that. When we do something, we need to think of the consequences of it. And this is a very important rule. طيب. For example, my neighbor, he is miskeen. Or he is not miskeen. Yeah? He is mubtada, according to my viewpoint. Yeah? I pass by him. <laughs> Just turn my face. Yeah? طيب. I forgot about the rights of neighborhood. I forgot about the rights of Muslims. I forgot about the unity of Muslims. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot about everything. Not only that, then next time I saw him and I said, listen, listen, I want to give you an advice. Yeah? Listen, I want to give you an advice because it looks that you are a mubtada. And you have to pray like this. You have to believe in like this. Otherwise, you are mubtada. And the mubtada are worse than dogs. <laughs> what is he going to do? He will say, Jazakallah khair, wallahi, this is a very good advice. <laughs> <laughs> is he going to do this? <laughs> is he going to do this? No. Come on. <coughs> yeah? Taib. All the scholars said, when you boycott someone, boycott him for the maslaha. If there is no maslaha, don't boycott him. Yeah? Because the whole, because the Prophet ﷺ said, لا يحل لمسلم أن يهجر أخاه فوق ثلاث. It is not allowed. This is a qat'i hadith. It is not allowed for a Muslim to boycott a Muslim more than three days. Even with the three days, within the three days, as many scholars said, 
It should be according to the maslaha. If there is no maslaha, someone he doesn't know why you don't give him salam. <laughs> yeah? Someone he doesn't know. طيب. How is he going to improve? He's not going to improve. He's not going to fix himself. So we have to be very careful. 